Hey there! I was lent two pens by Armando Simoni Club. Uh, these are the Studio Line pens, and I have reviewed one in the past, but I did think it was interesting to to do these two as well. I will of course do them in one video, there's no point in having two of the same pens with different finishes in two separate videos, I think. But I thought it would be interesting to review these two. The studio line is interesting. Armando Simoni club pens tend to be on the expensive side of the spectrum, um, and that is putting it somewhat mildly. But knowing that, uh, the pen family, the, the, the holding company that has ASC in its portfolio, came up with the idea of also launching a couple of pens that are more affordable. And uh, the studio line is that line. Now, um, they were $195 at launch. Um, at this point, uh, they, they have definitely gone up in price. Um, so I did write this down. They are now $247.82 from what I could see on the website. So they have jumped um, about $55 or something. Um, but having said that, as ASC pens go, that is still uh, on the inexpensive side. So I'll cover the parts of the pens. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about them. Let's do that now. Okay, the Armando Simoni Club uh, Studio line. I like this box with the perforations. And uh, let's have a look at what's in that outer sleeve. We get this box. Studio, very colorful, which I think is nice packaging. Simple cardboard box, hello friend, um, etc. Warranty. Then in there would be the pen. I have two of these pens here. We have I have the blue pinnacle and the blue coral. This is the blue pinnacle. Nice material, nice bit of chatoyance there. And then there is the um, blue coral, which I have not inked up right now. I did try it. It also wrote nicely. I just thought it would be a little bit of a waste of time to r do writing samples with both of these, for example. Okay, um, they come in a, a little mango net, the pens, which looks like this. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> and this is then the actual pen. Um, so these pens come in rhodium trim and gold trim. You can get them with fine, medium, or broad nibs. The current price that I could find on the website was two hundred and forty-seven dollars and eighty-two cents. Um, as I said, gold trim, rhodium trim, couple of nib options, steel nibs, not gold, and that's pretty much it. So going over the parts of the pen, we have this finial on top, um, which says, "I'm reading it upside down, I believe." Um, it says Armando Simoni Club. And ASC. I like the little gold uh, cone shape of that. We have the clip with the little wheel, very Delta esque. And then we have the Greek key center band, which I think looks quite nice. Again, this is clearly gold trim, but you could get a rhodium trim and it would look silvery. I mean, it wouldn't look like silver, it would look like rhodium, but that has a silver color. Okay, here we have an ink window which is visible when the pen is capped, which I think is a nice feature. And then we have the barrel, tapers down, ends in this little pointy bit again. Another gold colored ring, and this is the piston turning knob, which I won't really use too much here because there's ink in the pen. Uh, the clip I found works well, it's nice and springy, and the wheel works very well. The cap unscrews, and then you have the actual pen. pen Nice size, not too big, not too small. Does post if you want that. And you get a very nice gold colored, but steel nib, in this case medium, with the ASC logo laser engraved on it, and a plastic feed. Again, ink window, nicely visible. Section, tapers down. This is a little reminiscent of the Leonardo sections, which are wider here than taper down, and have a fixed width there as opposed to, say, an hourglass shape or a barrel shape. They're kind of straight down here. The other one, as I said, I, I really shouldn't do that. I also realize I did not yet show you this next to another pen for size comparison. So here you have this, um, the studio line next to a Pilot Metropolitan. <clears throat> Excuse me. The blue coral is 
similar in many ways, right? Same type of pen, just a different finish, same ink window, same everything. Okay, having said that, why don't we try to have a look at how the pen writes. Now the first thing you will notice when I start to write is that it makes a very interesting sound, at least so I thought. And it has issues starting up, but that's, I don't think that's the pen's fault, I just had it uncapped for a while. I haven't had issues with hard starts. I also have a somewhat sheening ink in it, so I wouldn't blame that in the pen. Studio line, this is a medium nib, and this is um, uh, Leonardo, no wait, this is not Leonardo, sorry, this is Waterman Blue Black, which I thought would be fun. Black, black, blast, black, black, sorry, that's one C. Anyway, listen to the sound. It sounds like a felt-tipped pen. And I'm not exactly sure why. The interesting thing is, it's really not scratchy. It does have feedback. I don't find it scratchy. It's interesting. Interesting, in my mind, is the very word here. Um, because I, it's been a while that I've heard a nib make that sound. It doesn't look like it's particularly flattened or anything. I don't think it's that. It must be something in the nib geometry. Um, which is interesting in its own regard. As you see, it almost has a very little bit of a almost stub-like quality. Very interesting. Uh, the other nib seemed a bit rounder and had less of that feedback. So I'm not 100% sure what happened here, but it was interesting. Um, not a flex nib, pretty rigid. As to reverse writing, possible, not horribly scratchy, and you go from a good medium, I would say, to a decent fine. That is the Armando Simoni Club Studio line. How about we have a chat about likes and dislikes? What do I like? What do I not like about the ASC <clears throat> Studio Line pens? I like the idea of creating pens that are more affordable. We see these days, uh, I find it a somewhat disturbing trend where maybe 10 years ago $500 was a lot for a pen. Uh, think of Hemingway, which I think the Mont Blanc Hemingway was something like 450 US when it was launched. Uh, then expensive pens became a thousand dollars now they're two thousand dollars and left and right two thousand dollar pens are just popping up everywhere Which I personally find a fairly disturbing trend It's after all still a fountain pen and still everyday object and if you have to pay what you could pay for a used car I think that we're going in an interesting direction as a pen world Having said that I do think that the, uh, the more affordable options are, are a good move whether $250 is a very affordable option is debatable, um, but it is definitely more affordable than some of the other pens in of that brand in the lineup. I do think that these studio lines have a couple of things going for them that are quite nice. The materials are attractive, I, I, I must say that. I, I initially reviewed a yellow one, which was quite nice, but I think these are really quite pretty. This in particular, I think, is a very nice material. They write well, uh, I've had no issues with them, uh, just like I don't believe I had issues with the yellow one. It's a humble steel nib, but it's a nib that writes well. And you still get a piston filler, which I think is very nice. It's a nice filling system, a large capacity of ink, or at least relatively large capacity of ink, which is nice. I also really like the design, that you can see the ink window with the pen capped is nice. You immediately know how much ink you have left if you need to refill it before you hit the road, for example. You don't even have to uncap it to be able to see that. And I think that that is, is well thought through. Beyond that, I think I have said everything I wanted to say. It is a more affordable pen, but that's a very relative term. There are pens that are a lot more affordable. There, also pens are, there also are pens that are a lot less affordable. So overall, I think it is a, a nice pen. It's comfortable, it writes well, and it looks pretty and it is relatively affordable as things go. Emphasis on relatively affordable. Okay, 
that's it. A very kind thank you to ASC for lending me these pens. I appreciate it. They will come back to you soon. And uh, that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.